but welcome back to my channel guys i'm rj and if you're new here i'm cake face rj i do a lot of illusion work makeup work blah 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 today i'm going to be doing this smoky eye as you can see this is a very grungy smoky look for me and we're trying out a brand new palette Huda beauty pretty grunge palette i'm super excited for you guys to watch me go through this tutorial with you and to really really try out this palette and the new lipstick and a few other bits as well so sit back get a drink get a snack and join me as we try out this makeup product love you all Mwah. the weather is so cold and it's just not the vibe at all like i'm not feeling it the only thing that's getting me through is just being able to wear super cute like wintry coats and jumpers like i love jumper season but that is literally the only part of this weather that makes me slightly happy by the way the primer i just used was the beauty crop melon jelly dewy primer i really like the way this sits on the skin and it's got like a nice tacky feel which means you know your foundation sticks on much better i remember the foundation that i've not used in so long the uoma foundation you can see it's a mess i used to use this like religiously every single day um i don't even know why i stopped i think i just started using some new foundations just for you know variety um but it is a mess so it's cute. <laughs> the bottle but this is um the say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation it goes on so beautiful and um, this is the shade brown sugar tan um and it's just honestly one of my favorites like i need to get a tissue for the top there so i can actually get the foundation out it literally just makes your skin look so flawless and you don't even need a lot on and the shade match is stunning And you don't even feel like you've got foundation on. It kind of feels like a skin tint. Look at how flawless that is. Mm -mm. Yummy. <laughs> so I asked on my Insta stories the other day for everyone to ask me some questions so I could do like a little mini Q&A because I've not done like one like that for ages. And the first question that popped out to me that I thought was just so cute was, what breed is your cat? She's so cute. She's a ragdoll and she's beautiful. They're so cuddly and so friendly everybody loves her everyone that comes to my house and meets my cat just loves it a bit she's so sociable she is a little bit cheeky but like she is such a lovely cat and i'm so happy i have her she's just just a little fluff ball i feel like you're a cat person when you have a cat i feel like anyone that's not a cat person is only because they've not had a cat before honestly like they're just such beautiful, beautiful little animals. And she's so, like, needy. That's the only thing with ragdolls is they need a lot of attention. And she is, like, a little attention seeker, bless her. But, yeah, she's so cute. She is a house cat, so she spends all her time indoors. Um, and, yeah, she's just beautiful. I just have a moment for the base. Do you know what I was doing? I was thinking, oh, creamy. Like... I forgot how much I love this foundation. Like, I don't know why I even bother trying any of the foundations because honestly, this is my like favorite. Like the skin is giving chocolate. So I put concealer on. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the shade 23. It's the magic touch. I use a concealer that's very close to my skin tone because I feel like that just makes more sense than a super brightening one. And I'm going to go in with a bit of bronzer or contour. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber. I'm going to use this brush. I can't remember where this is brush from. I think this is from Morphe as well. Um, and I just like to stipple a little bit. I don't like to put too much, but I do like to use it just to bronze. Add a bit of chiselling colour back in the face just but because it's such a creamy formula and it blends out so nicely it doesn't leave any harsh lines i hate those lines that streak no this just leaves nice blended out shadows going in with my favorite laura messier powder uh, i'm gonna use that just a little bit under the eyes i'm gonna go in with the beauty blender just to make sure we get rid of any creasing um, and just use that to matte out under the eyes. And it does brighten under, under your eyes a little bit, which is nice, um, but not too much for me. I just wanted to zoom in close so you guys could see no harsh lines under the eyes. So it does help when you blend out before you set. 
I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blush. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's blushed blush, liquid blush, <laughs> um, and dot just a couple of those on the cheeks. Don't wanna do too much because I feel like the base is already giving, and yeah, I'm just gonna blend it out with this beauty blender. And to top it off, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Blushed Duo that matches that shade and just patting that over the top just to give you an extra flush of colour because you can never put too much blush on. So for the main event, the Pretty Grunge Eyeshadow Palette from Huda Beauty. Can we just have a moment for the case because wow. Like, they're doing the most with eyeshadow palette cases, I swear, like, how pretty. But the vibe inside is very much party grunge. This isn't your everyday eyeshadow palette. This is very much party vibes, grunge vibes, very dark, very glittery, very, yeah, party. So we have a few shades here that we could use for every day. There are some shades, you know, here that we could use for every day, but majority are very smoky now if that is your everyday vibe i guess this is the palette for you um if you're looking for something a bit more like toned down cool toned neutral nudes this probably isn't the palette you're looking for if you're looking for something grungy party vibes this is the one i feel like we're in the season for party vibes as well so this is definitely the palette i think we could look to but let's try it out first i really like the shade beauty chaos and nirvana i'm going to show you guys this so that's beauty chaos it's kind of like a lilac-y and this one's kind of like a smoky gray those two together i think would look so good i think today i want to stick with like a matte smoky eye and really utilize some of the main colors here i'm so excited I thought I'd zoom in so you guys can see the colour payoff and everything a bit more clearly. So I'm going to start off with the shade Nirvana. I think I like the way it looks. So I'm going to start by applying that on the outer corners and diffusing outwards just to see. Oh my word, that is very pigmented and quite dark. <sighs> quite scared. Oh my word. Oh goodness. <laughs> okay. So we have no problem with pigmentation very very bold and very little fallout as well which is nice for a dark shade because i didn't think about it normally i would have probably left my face makeup till afterwards if i'm doing like a very dark eye makeup look oh why are you blurry i'm actually quite liking this it's very easy to blend out i'm gonna build on that i'm gonna add a little bit more nirvana on the brush and just really pat that on I'm gonna take the shade Brave. It's kind of like a pinky, it's not pink, it's kind of like a pinky lilac shade <sighs> on this brush. This is the Sigma Medium Tapered Blending Brush. I do love Sigma brushes, um, so easy to use. Um, and I'm gonna use that to diffuse out the harsh, any harsh edges. Cause I don't like the one colour going up to the brow. I feel like it never looks very good. Um, it's good to kind of like have something else to blend with. Now I'm going to go in with Beauty Chaos, that really nice lilac. I'm really going to pack that on in the corner of the eye um, and hopefully it gives what we want it to give. I don't really use any kind of colour like this in my everyday makeup so I'll be interested to see how Oh, okay, that's really pretty. I really like that. Kind of diffuse that middle point. Oh, that's so easy to achieve. Like, honestly, I love a simple smoky eye, but I love when the tools make it so much easier to achieve because that is literally done. All you have to do is like whack on a little liner and you're pretty much finished. And I love the fact that it's not too dark. I don't personally like really dark smoky eyes on me. I think it makes my eyes look smaller. It doesn't suit me at all, so I always end up going for a lighter shade in the corner. But this palette really gives to that because it's not just like a boring, just a nude white cream shade. The lilac really does give off like a really nice difference to a smoky eye. I really love it. I really, really love it, guys. Both eyes are kind of done. I'm going to go underneath with a little something, something. But look how simple that was. It literally took me less than five minutes. And something else I really like is that it's not a black eyeshadow. It's like, it's like a it's like a dark purple, but not. But it doesn't look like that on the eyes and it just looks so seamless. I'm just 
I'm obsessed. I think this is going to be my go-to when I want like a nice smoky, sultry eye. I'm going to go in on my waterline with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Sleep Cheat Liner Duo. So it's like a white liner and a black liner on the other side. I'm going to go in with the black liner just to line my waterline. I don't tend to do it a lot, but I think it looks quite nice when you're doing a smoky eye. I would do a wing normally, like a wing liner, but I don't think I need it today. I really love the smoky smoothness of the eyeshadow alone. So I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Hella Thick Mascara. As you know from other videos, I can't stop talking about my lashes because they have grown incredibly. Um, I'm going to put some mascara on. I might end up putting some falsies on because I feel like falsies would really elevate the look, but I'm going to just put a coat of mascara on anyway. But I'm going to put some lashes on now. Nubian Lash in Egypt, Egypt Light Natural Volume. Uh, the box is empty because I've got it in my hand. <laughs> They're very dainty and like wispy, which is the kind of vibe I'm looking for. Just as a little extra step, I've got the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch here. And it's like a powder to kind of go over your existing powder. Just to really brighten up your under eyes. So I'm just going to do a little bit just to really lock everything in. I wanna go under the eye with a little bit of the shade Fearless, just to really kind of bring the eye makeup just underneath the eye. I feel like it needs to be brought down, you know what I mean? It's like it needs that finishing touch. So to complete this grunge look, in the Pretty Grunge collection came the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Ex-Wife. <laughs> it is a black shade. I don't wear black lipsticks, apart from like creative looks. And I am intrigued to see how this is going to look. I love that the shade name is Ex-Wife. <laughs> so shady. I just love it. I just love it. Um, but I'm going to try it. If we don't like it, we'll take it off. But I just want to see what the black lipstick looks like with the rest of the look that we've done. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. Ooh, scary. The applicator is so small that it almost tickles you. <laughs> I look like I've got a moustache. Oh, it's giving Kim Possible. <laughs> it's very pigmented. You know what? I don't hate it. What a vibe. Oh my, oh, I feel so bad. I feel like, <laughs> and it doesn't go on your teeth, which is great. And it makes my teeth look really white. And it's not drying. It's kind of like glossy. <sighs> no one could talk to me now. No one could talk to me. Eyes are laid, faces are laid, lips are giving. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this really grungy, smoky look. I am obsessed. I feel like I'm gonna keep this on all day, which is not like me. I'll usually just go and take this off straight away. But I feel so just sexy. <laughs> I hope you guys love it too. Because this lip is, it's matte, but it's not drying, which is like so nice, because I swear, most like one color matte lipsticks always end up being really, really drying. This still feels kind of creamy. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me upload next. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I love you all mwah, so much. And I can't wait to see you in my next YouTube video. Love you loads. Mwah, mwah. See you soon.